guys, it's Sarah from Welcome Invest. Ladies, and the market cap, it keeps swimming around $100 billion level. And it's very interesting to see what the upcoming days will actually bring. But I want to focus today about this bear market and asking questions and what sort of question everyone is asking and my opinion on some of the answers. And everyone keeps asking actually the same question and it's why is Bitcoin falling? When will the market turn around? Is this the end of the crypto boom? However, before we can answer a question like this, we need to step back and do an honest appraisal of where our industry stands and what is actually holding it back. And despite its growing popularity, cryptocurrency still struggles to gain mainstream appeal. And while crypto has managed to distance itself from the early days when it was used to buy illegal goods online, the currency still conjures up negative feelings for a lot of people unfamiliar with the technology. And all too often, for unfortunately good reasons. Cryptocurrency is still relatively new, which means that many casual users are still exploring different ways to use crypto in their day-to-day -day lives. Unfortunately, this lack of knowledge leaves a lot of users vulnerable to scammers seeking to take advantage of their ignorance and experience. And I've asked you guys a question on Twitter, actually. It was quite recent, around two hours before I made a video. And, and from what I can see, loads of people actually seem to agree with me and the people who follow me are newbies, traders, investors. And in my opinion, I've found that the biggest problems within the crypto are actually the scammers, the failed projects and the immature technology. So who hasn't actually been scammed in crypto? I mean, there is a fair amount of people. I'm one of them who actually been lucky and been following the simple steps of the rules. But the crypto community is overrun with scammers taking the advantage of inexperienced and naive users. What's more, scams don't only occur on an individual level. There have been numerous cases where ICOs were hyped up only to disappear into thin air once investors put money into them. Then there's the issue of failed projects. More often than not, this is a result of overly ambitious CEOs who have the technical knowledge to apply blockchain but are inexperienced in business and management, don't know how to attract investors and don't focus on practical real world functions for blockchain technology. And finally, there is the blockchain technology itself, which is still in its early stages. As such, there's little practical application for blockchain technology and real world crypto usage. What's more, many blockchain startups focus on very specific niche projects that have little to no appeal to the average person. And as a result, mainstream investors who don't fully understand the nature of blockchain are much more reluctant to invest in the projects. But there are some good news, and it's that as the blockchain technology continues to expand, more we are able to explore new ways to overcome these issues and build a fully inclusive community for everyone to enjoy. So guys, this is my opinion about it and what I personally think. If you guys want to share your opinion about the three biggest problems within cryptocurrency market, please let me know in the comments or go and follow me on Twitter actually at Alcoin Sarah and answer underneath that post. I really think it'll be a great chance for everyone to have an opinion. I've become a bit more sociable now on Twitter and actually start responding to people uh, as I've been super busy at work and I couldn't have done it beforehand. But now I can respond and actually have a conversation. And it's actually quite good, I think, to interfere with the followers as it basically brings everyone closer. And you never know who you might, who you might make friends with. And, you know, Twitter is the family that you choose. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, subscribe to Welcome Bus Ladies, follow me on Twitter at Alcoin Sarah, and let me know your own opinion about the three biggest problems with crypto. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.